Hello children, welcome to your maths class. In the last video, we started with the topic of time and learned how to read a clock. In this video, we will learn how to tell the time. That means the, we will understand the term quarters, half, use of past and two. If we divide our clock into four equal parts, as you can see on the screen, each part is called a quarter. It has four quarters. One, two, three and four quarters. And each quarter represents a 15 minutes section. That means when the big hand, that is the minute hand, when it moves from 12 to 3, it will cover 15 minutes. And when it moves from 3 to 6, again it will cover 15 minutes. 6 to 9, 15 minutes. And 9 to 12, again 15 minutes that makes total of 60 minutes so four quarters are there in a clock when the big hand moves from 12 to 3 it is quarter past now here before going further i would like to make clear that when the minute hand is between 12 to 6 we use the term past that means from 1 minute to 30 minutes if the minutes hand is showing from 1 minute to 30 minutes we use the term past right and when it is between 31 minutes to 59 minutes it we use 2 and when it is exactly at 60 minutes we use o'clock now let's come back to this point when the clock has covered or the minute hand has covered starting from 12 till 3 the minute hand has covered 15 minutes it is quarter past this is because the big hand has moved quarter of the way around the clock. That is 15 minutes. Now, when the big hand, that is this one, the big hand, the minute hand has moved from 12 to 6, it is half past. It is half past. Moving on. Further, now when the minute hand has moved from 12 till 9, it is quarter 2. It is quarter 2. Now why we are using here quarter 2? Because there are still 15 minutes left for the clock to cover. Right? So it is quarter Two. This uh, picture will make things more clear to you. When it is 5 minutes, we use at 12. That is exactly at 60 minutes, we use o'clock. When it is 5 minutes, we use 5 past. 2, 10 past. 3, quarter past. 4, 20 past. 5, 25 past, 6, half past, 7, 25, 2. Now why we are using here 25? Otherwise 7 shows 35 minutes. We are using here 25. Why? Because there are still 25 minutes left for the minute hand to cover the complete circle. You can count from here 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. So there are still 25 minutes left for the minute hand 
to complete one circle. Similarly here 22. 20 minutes still left. 1, 5, 10, 15, 20. Quarter 2. Now quarter as you know it is 15 minutes. 15 minutes still left. 5, 10, 15. 10, 2. 10 minutes still left. 5, 10. 5, 2. 5 minutes still left. From here to here. So from half of the clock we use past and from this side we start using 2. Let's take some practice questions. The time shown in the clock, the small hand is between 4 and 5, that means it is 4 o'clock and the long hand is at 6, 6 fives are 30, that means and 30 is exactly half. So the time is half past 4. Here, small hand is at 8 and big hand is at 3. 3 fives are 15. 15 is quarter. So, the time is quarter past 8. Next, small hand at 8 and big hand at 4. That is 20 minutes. 4 fives are 20. So the time is 20 minutes past 8. Another. Now we have reached on the left hand side of the clock. So we will be using 2. So how many minutes are still left for long hand to cover? 5 and 10. So the time will be written as 10 minutes to 7, 6 sorry, 10 minutes to 6 because the small hand is about to reach 6. Look at this now, small hand is about to reach 1 and long hand is at 9, that is the other half left part of the clock so we will be using 2 how many minutes are left 5 10 15 15 is quarter so quarter to 1 hope the concept of telling time and use of past and to is clear to you the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics, do practice sums and you will master the concept. Thank you.